This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with planning and acreage decisions in 2022. Acreage decisions in 2022 are going to be tough, and what's making them particularly tough is increasing cost, and with much of that focus now on fertilizer cost. From last year in October, we were, were looking at large increases in all fertilizer uh, components, but to take an example, anhydrous ammonia was $432 last year at this time. This year it's a, at $1,035. And there's prospects that, it, that anhydrous ammonia could inc increase more going forward. We also see DAP and potash going up as well. And overall, we've, we're projecting cost to go from fertilizer from last year, a $94 cost up to $193 cost for next year, 2022. That's a $99 increase for corn. Soybeans are less at $51, and the reason why soybean fertilizer cost increases less is because soybeans don't use as much nitrogen as do corn. Overall, we're looking at $97 of fertilizer cost for soybeans, and that compares to $193 for corn. Overall, if you put those items in a budget and adjust those items up to account for the fact that many farmers use different forms of nitrogen than is than anhydrous ammonia, which tends to be lower, and also include lime cost and fertilizer cost, we put those into our budgets and still find that corn is more profitable than soybeans. We're using prices of $5 for corn and $12 for soybeans and trend yields of 220 bushels for corn and 68 bushels for soybeans. Having corn more profitable than soybeans differs from what has happened from 2013 through 2020. During those years, soybeans had an advantage over corn and, and that was a period in which corn use was not growing because of ethanol build. If we go previous to 2013, we see that corn in most years had an advantage over soybeans. Again, if you're looking at 2022, the advantage for corn differs from what we saw in 2013 through 2020. How farmers will make acreage decisions will be interesting to see. But overall, as soybeans had advantage, we saw soybean acres increase and corn acres decrease in central Illinois. Overall, given what we're looking at now, the market would suggest not large changes in the corn versus soybean acres moving into 2022. Again, that's given what we're looking at currently for fertilizer and other costs and a corn price of $5 and a soybean price of 12 Those, again, are currently what Mark Fall bids for 2022 look like, but again, that could change as we move forward. You can read more about this in my Farm Doc Daily article, which is linked to in the video description below.